Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. I'm going to show you something that you may not have looked at at Falcon, and it may open up a whole new world for some of you. Uh, this particular video is going to be a little bit more technical than sound oriented, and I hope that will be okay with you. This video is going to be aimed at those of you who maybe are a little more nerdy and into the tech side. Uh, I know that's not everybody in the audience, but I find that a lot of synth nerds really are into computers and technical things as well. And so I hope that you will find this particular video interesting and useful. So the thing to understand about Falcon is that anything other than elemental data like samples or waveforms, wavetables, textures, and that sort of thing, uh, anything other than that is stored as a file. So whether it's a mapper or a modulator or an FX a processor that you've set up presets for, um, anything that you are, are making uh, your own settings in Falcon for, and that goes for multis and patches and any of these other things I mentioned, it's all going to be stored as files, and the files are stored in an XML format. The folks at UVI are geniuses because this is an easy format to work with for developers or tinkerers. Let me show you an example of just a simple preset. So down here at the bottom of my screen, you're going to see a multi-envelope, and that multi-envelope I'm using to modulate the pitch of this synth and to basically give it sort of a random wobble. So again, this might be because the oscillators in the synthesizer are a little out of date, they're out of tune, and they kind of drift. Now, if I play it, you're not going to hear uh, more than a very subtle effect. Let me turn up the amount of modulation. It'll make it not very pleasant to listen to, but it will make it much easier to tell what's going on. Okay, so I'm just using that to, mo again, modulate the pitch of uh, the oscillator. So I'm going to turn this back down to where it's a little nicer to listen to. And I have a whole set of random uh, modulation envelopes like this. So anytime that I want to load up a random walk like this, I'll just go over here to in my multi envelope into the presets and into my random folder. And I've got a whole set of these in here uh, that I can choose from. Now, making those can be really painstaking because if you look at this, there's about 64 steps, well, exactly 64 steps in this envelope. And again, I made a whole set of these and that would probably take most of an afternoon to work through. But there are many easier ways to do this uh, rather than uh, doing these by hand. The great thing about XML is that it is an easy format to work with if you're a tinkerer. So let me uh, open up a terminal here and I will show you what I mean. If I go to uh, my documents folder under UVI Falcon and user presets, uh, this is where all of the presets that you store for yourself, anything that you've created uh, will be listed under here. If I show you what's in this folder, you'll see folders for drums, event processors, FXs, and under that FX folder is every kind of FX unit that Falcon has. Uh, that is where all of the presets will be stored for uh, each of those types of units. Now, I'm going to go into modulations because that's where the multi-envelope is stored, and I'll go into multi-envelope under that, and you'll see that here is my uh, subfolder, which is stored for my, uh, for my studio, and if I uh, change directory into that and into the random folder, you'll see here are all the presets that I've stored. So if I open up, for instance, this random 17 preset, I'm just going to uh, use a pager to do that less, random 17. And if you look at this file, I'm going to stretch this folder out or this terminal out so it's a little easier to see. Uh, what you'll see is this is just an XML file, and the XML file has the contents for that multi-envelope. In this case, all of the various steps that are part of that multi-envelope are listed here. Now, if you're looking at this and you are a tinkerer or a programmer, you're going to easily see, wow, this is this would be very easy to create these uh, from a script because it is a very well-defined 
file format and obviously follows a uh, a process, follows an algorithm to uh, to generate these. Um, and so you could edit this by hand with a text editor, but more importantly, if you wanted to make, say, a series of 20 or 30 of these uh, random uh, envelope, random multi-envelopes, uh, it will be very easy uh, using a script. And that is exactly what I did. So let me show you. I'm just going to go to a code editor here. And I used a Python script to do this. You can do this with basically any high-level programming language because all of them have libraries for working with XML. Uh, I'm not claiming to be a wonderful programmer. I am just a, a tinkerer, uh, a, a, a someone who dabbles in programming. But it only took me a few minutes to come up with a script here, very, very short, and it allowed me to generate these random envelopes uh, from scratch. So this is just the start of what you can do uh, with Falcon. Uh, again, opening up my, my terminal, and if I move again back into uh, uh, Falcon, into my Falcon folder under user presets, uh, by the way, if you're on Windows, uh, you can see I'm on a Mac, but if you were on Windows, uh, this would be in your documents and settings uh, folder for your user account. Uh, for me, it's under documents, UVI Falcon, user presets. And if I were to go to anything under here, uh, so for example, uh, if I were to go to mappers, you'll see that there's a number of mappers that I've created here. And if I look at any of these files, again, just a simple XML file uh, with the mapping steps included. And what this means is that there is an incredible amount of work that you can do uh, that you could generate uh, different types of files or read them in and process them in some way, uh, if you like. Everything uh, all the way out to multis will do this. So for example, if I go to the presets multis folder, You'll see that I've got, uh, for instance, there's a, uh, a multi here that I created the other day. Um, it starts uh, with uh, at a very high level, and as you uh, as you drift down through the XML file, uh, you'll find um, all the children parts are listed, each of them with all of their uh, all of their interesting information. You can see there's a properties description. Uh, if we run down here into um, into the the file further, you'll see that there are signal sources listed here for modulations. There are inserts for the effects. Uh, this is going to be obviously a very long file because there's a lot of this to hold for the multi. But again, this is all readable easily by a computer uh, or a program, and you could do all sorts of things with this. You could do patch librarians this way or you know, generating, who knows, generating random types of parts or patches, if that's your thing. So I hope this gives you a couple ideas uh, for things that you could do with Falcon. It is infinitely extensible, just one of the coolest sound design tools that I've ever found. I hope you have fun with Falcon, and I'll see you next time.